With the permission of the chairman. Please focus. We have here a letter from Mr. Jeffrey Kai Eric Celis, addressed to the Chairman, Honorable Gas Tambunting Committee on Legislative Franchises, is dated December 11, 2023. And I quote For humanitarian appeal and requests for consideration based on justice. Chairman Tambunting and members of the committee, I am respectfully appealing for your humanitarian consideration regarding my status as being detained at the House of Representatives due to my being cited in contempt by the Committee on, Legal, on Legislative Franchises. My appeal is anchored on the request to sincerely consider the, de the deteriorating health condition of my 77-year-old mother as she is deeply worried of my present detention to the point that she refuses to eat since four days ago. Secondly, I also state that I apologize for my misbehavior and the disrespect that I openly displayed before the committee hearing as such behavior is indeed uncalled for and unbecoming. I also apologize for my failure to uh, properly conduct vet proper conduct vetting and verification about the information of my source. Thereby, I failed to observe due diligence, prudence, and propriety, which are manda mandatory values in public information work. I commit before the committee that I shall make amends of these lapses in my editorial judgment so as to avoid similar weaknesses or even errors in relaying information to the public. May the spirit of justice and fairness be your objective, basis to grant affirmative action regarding my humanitarian appeal. And he ended, happy holidays to all. Sincerely, Jeffrey K. Eric Celis. And it is signed by the uh, uh, sender, your honors. Point of order, Mr. Chair. What is the point? What is the point of honor order of the Honorable uh, JJ Suarez? Um, can I just ask when uh, when did we receive this letter? Comsec. Uh, your honors, this letter was received while uh, we are doing our hearing this morning. So, it, in other words, it was done uh, earlier today. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Um, was Mr. Salis alone when he did this letter or was he under the supervision of his lawyer? The, okay, Mr. Um, Chair, uh, he was alone, Mr. Chair. He was alone? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, um, Mr. Chair, can I just ask the yes. lawyers? Can I proceed? Please proceed. You have Thank the floor. You. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, Attorney Tolentino, do you confirm the letter of your client? Yes, Mr. Chair. And do you agree with um, everything that he has stated in his letter of uh, request and apology? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, that's all I have to ask, Mr. Chair. Then I have some points of clarification for the uh, with regards to this issue later. Mr. Chair, point of clarification also. Another point of clarification, <clears throat> Another point of clarification by our senior deputy speaker. The Honorable uh, Don Gonzalez, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, did uh, Mr. Celis filed a uh, Rule 58 or Rule 65 in, in the higher court, Mr. Chair? As of today, Mr. Chair, none, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yes, the Honorable uh, Aquino. Yes, uh, it was uh, mentioned about uh, uh, for his misbehavior. I, I, I want to clarify, is the misbehavior calling this committee a kangaroo court? Is it all about calling this committee a kangaroo court? Well, I think that's uh, one of, as in, I mean, it's one of them. It's one of them, uh, but not the only one. He made an apology. The Honorable Avante. Mr. Chair, uh, before I make a motion here, I'd like to ask the attorney here, who delivered the letter here? Uh, we have no personal knowledge, Mr. Chair, who delivered the letter. But before the hearing this morning, Mr. Chair, I met 
Caselis uh, and Mr. Lorraine, uh, Miss Lorraine Badoy, Mr. Chair, and and Ka Eric told me that he's going to write a letter. That's what I know, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, do you think, uh, Attorney Mark, that uh, Caselis is uh, really apologetic and that he is sincere in his letter? Yes, Mr. Chair. Very apologetic, Mr. Chair. And very humble, Mr. Chair. So it means that uh, he is remorseful of what he did. I believe so, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, upon hearing the uh, letter and upon hearing the uh, testimony of his lawyer. Yes. No, Mr. Chair, yeah. Mr. Chair. I think there are other people that would like to ask a question or have a manifestation. But before that, that's Mr. Uh, Chair. The Honorable Paduano, the Honorable Dan Fernandez, the Honorable Kim Kimbo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, uh, since uh, Ka Eric is not present, and is being represented by Attorney Tolentino, Mr. Chairman, in relation to this uh, motion for reconsideration of Caselis, uh, I just like to ask, because he's voting now, the his client, na. Ito nga, yung undertaking niya ay eh, talagang gagawin niya. But of course, I have discussed pa yung two points na missing dun sa narinig ko no, sa letter niya. But, attorney, diretso ang pagkatanong. You posted just like what uh, Ka Eric is doing. And in fact, pati hunger strike and everything. They're telling the public that they will be mag-hunger strike sila, di ba? And, attorney, nag-visit ka sa kanila, di ba? Uh, during the first hearing, Mr. Yeah. Chair. Tama, di ba? And also, then, yeah, and also yesterday, Mr. Chair, but I was not able to enter the facility, Mr. Chair. But we're, you, we're not allowed but, by the security. Yeah, Chair. but do you confirm that uh, during your visit, nag-post ka sa Facebook? And ang caption doon, visiting my two clients, detailed, illegally detailed, detained in Congress. Do you okay. confirm that? Yes, Mr. Chair. So, but that is only my personal position, Mr. Chair. So, but you are a resource person in this committee. Don't you know that I can cite you in contempt for Section 11 again and letter F, and your interference? Uh, that, uh, that's why, Mr. Chair, I'd like to apologize for that, Mr. Chair. That is only my personal position, Mr. Chair, and just expressing my... Oh, no. Attorney, I am going to personal... Kaya nga personal what you are an invited resource person in this hearing and you are not allowed to attack Congress, especially this committee. Yes, Mr. Chair. That's why I'd like to apologize for that, Mr. Chair. And you should tanggalin mo yung dapat. Yes, Mr. Chair, I will, that. I will do and that. And all Mr. those Chair. posts na tinitira mo yung mga indirectly, tinitira yung mga members dito sa house. That's why, Mr. Chairman, just to manifest, hey, Paano ako maniniwala dito? Natitindigan niya yung statement ng affidavit ng kliyente niya kung siya mismo may problema dito sa conduct niya, behavior niya after and outside this committee ring. Eh, of course, depende sa committee. If they will accept your apologies. But of course, ako, I just want you attorney don't do it again. And do you commit na tanggalin mo yun yung mga post mo? Uh, after yes, this hearing? Yes, Mr. Chair. I will. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. May I proceed? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, two points, Mr. Chairman. Ang, ang request ni Ka Eric is all about the medical condition of his mother. So, uh, humanitarian. Now, but of course, nag-apologize siya with regards to misbehavior, kanda kan becoming during the hearing, etc., etc. Tapos pati yung vetting niya dun sa source niya. But, balik, balik ko lang sa kay attorney. Attorney, tinanong kanina ni SDS, yung Rule 65 and 68 hindi pa ginamit ni ka Eric. Tama? Uh, as of, sabi mo kanina, as of now. Based on my personal knowledge, Mr. Chair, none, Mr. Chair, because whole day I'm here, Mr. Chair, and since I'm here, I have no personal knowledge whether he filed a 
a filed a certiorari or habeas corpus with the Supreme Court, Mr. Chair? Um, attorney, pwede po bang maging klaro tayo dyan sa issue niya? Pwede po bang tawagan niyo yung si ka Eric? Kasi, you know, that can change the complexion of whatever, you know. So can you make sure, because unless you're also the same lawyer that will file for him, Ergo, he could not have done it. Iba ho yung story niya na. I am not engaged by Mr. Celis with respect to the filing of certiorari if there is, Mr. Chair. Yes, but can you can please... Can I request uh, for one minute, Mr. Chair? Sus will, suspension declared. I will call Mr. Chairman. The Honorable Paduano. Thank you, Chairman. Anyway, two things, Mr. Chairman. Ito kasi yung... Uh, may mga furlow din sa committee ko nung nakaraan. Pero iba yung sitwasyon dito eh. Kay ka Eric eh. Now, ito lang ito, Lee. Kasi sabi ko nga... Yung undertaking niya, apologies lang. Okay, now, after ma-lift o temporary lifted ang, ang detention niya, sa labas siya. Now, kailangan to, amended dapat ang gagawin natin dyan kung papayag siya. That he will commit not to issue public statements outside against this investigation, individual members of this committee, and that includes the whole Congress. That's number one. Eh, wala kong assurance. If I may. Attorney Rolex, please. Tapusin ko lang, Chairman, bago ko pumasok si kababayan ko. Anyway, that's one. Number two, number two, yung question malinaw dapat, na he will not seek relief especially on Rule 65 and 68, Mr. Chairman. Dapat maging bahagi yan ng apilabit niya. Okay. Kasi, just in case, we can also use it. Kung lalapit sa Supreme Court, we can also use it. Di ba? Just like what we did with Governor Mamba. Okay. So, kailangan dito, Mr. Chairman, linawin natin okay. yung mismo apilabit niya. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. So, Attorney Can Rolex. I call my client, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Can Can we just have... We will just have to have those commitments, no? As requested by the Honorable uh, Paduano. I just so, relayed the message, Mr. Chair. Yes, and but can we have a reply before we me. resume our hearings okay, on Mr. this Chair. issue? The Honorable Dan Fernandez. Mr. Chairman, I believe that uh, we are already discussing the merit of our uh, supposedly motion, no? Yes. So, uh, in other words, we will not be uh, discussing the objection anymore uh, if we have a uh, movement for this motion. So, uh, in other words, uh, we are getting the... Uh, the different manifestation of our members and thereby I will be uh, discussing also my uh, reservation on the uh, uh, supposed uh, letter that uh, we have received uh, regarding the uh, the uh, the uh, manifestation of our, of uh, uh, Mr. Celis. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I, I believe, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, hear me, no? uh, that um, Mr. Celis is um, uh, a threat to uh, our national security Considering that uh, he mentioned that uh, uh, in all fairness, no, dahil may sakit po yung kanyang nanay, uh, even my mom is right now is in the hospital, but I'm still uh, trying to work at it right now. But I, I think um, we have this kind of uh, situation wherein um, nagkaroon po ng mistrust and distrust uh, yung uh, ating pong, uh, hearing regarding uh, uh, Mr. Celis. And um, even the uh, president of this uh, country have uh, signed a uh, new national security policy uh, comprising 2023 and uh, 2028. And this, in, in this policy that was uh, signed by the president, it encompasses the meaning of uh, security of this country, the national security. It only not includes the uh, national sovereignty, the uh, territorial integrity, but including the um, political stability and public uh, security. Thereby, uh, ito pong si uh, Mr. Celis, no? uh, because of uh, non-disclosure of his uh, uh, false information, have um, lead to a animosity and adversity between the upper and the lower chamber. And um, as a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, ako mismo, yung mga empleyado ko, hindi lang naman po tayo nag ng, ng budget dito ng different departments. We also have a constant daily communication with the different employees of the upper chamber. We are, we are amending laws, we are drafting and crafting uh, uh, house bills, and 
we have uh, a constant communication with them. Yung isang ko empleyado, Mr. Chairman eh, kausap yung isang empleyado ng senador eh. Ang, 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 ang tawag sa atin, mga trader, ang tawag naman natin sa kanila, mga hudas. And this is causing political instability and also involving the public in this issue so much more that political instability is being created. Mismo pong si, um, si Mr. Um, Celis, no? I believe, no? Yung pagiging puso at nung, yung kanyang uh, puso at sa kanyang isipan, nung pagiging kadre niya, he is not properly rehabilitated. It's always been there. Never been gone. And I believe, never will be, Mr. Chairman. That's the reason why uh, meron siyang salita na kung hindi, hindi magkakaroon ng magandang uh, uh, hindi siya mapapagbigyan, babalik na lang po siya sa pagiging NPA. We are living in a democracy. And every, uh, every one of us is here, elected by the people, We are uh, we are uh, debating, we are interpolating. Sometimes we are being rejected, but we we you know we agree on voting on something, and that's the reason why. How can we be assured of that after we have given him, you know, to be released in the detention in this House of Representatives? Nakakasigurado po ba tayo na hindi po yun na tayo aatakihin mule? And we have been elected by the people, and it is our right to vote. Diba? On something that pertains to our national security. At sa paningin ko po, Mr. Chairman, eh, hindi pa po napapanahon, no? But of course, yung binitawan ni, ano, ni, ni Mr. Ba, ni Mr. Uh, Celis, very critical po to. And even the President have ordered us in order niya sa kanyang national policy. Na sinabi niya, to succeed the new national security policy, the, uh, the, government, the whole of government approach And the whole of the nation approach must be considered and harmonized in our program and strategy. And even the policymakers can likewise use this document as a guiding tool to secure our national security. Eh, nakakatakot po. But unless that, yun na nga po, magsalita po si Mr. Celis that he will uh, respect the decision of this committee, then I will change, I will change my consideration. Thank you very much, uh... Uh, um, the Honorable Don Fernandez. Um, anyway, may I ask Attorney Mark? Mark, can you, Attorney Tolentino, can you really check with your client while uh, some members are speaking here? Okay, okay, um, yes, Mr. Chair. So you may want to validate so we can save on uh, time. No? I strongly suggest that we suspend consideration on this matter. Mr. Chair. The Honorable Abante. Actually, I was about to make a motion. For furlough, but because of this uh, development that even Congressman Suarez has said and Congressman uh, Pimentel, I would uh, I would agree with them, Mr. Chair. Unless otherwise, unless otherwise, uh, Mr. Celis would be able to convince those that filed to withdraw immediately. We might be able to consider, but if they had, if they will not be able to withdraw, Mr. Chair, then uh, we would like to let them know. That they're going to stay here in the in this Christmas season from here until New Year, and that would be very very hard for them. They should realize that. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Abante. So, yeah, the motion of the Honorable uh, Pimentel. The motion, yes. Mr. Chair, I move that we. Suspend the consideration on the request of uh, Mr. Celis. Uh, so moved, Mr. Chair. There's a motion Second. by second, seconded by the Honorable uh, Senior Deputy Speaker uh, Gonzalez and the Honorable Benny Abante. The chair no objections on a unanimous vote. vote on unanimous vote. Uh, we, were, we are going to uh, suspend the um, decision of uh, the request of uh, Ka Eric until we're able to clear it with them personally. Uh, as to this um, um, uh, case that they have filed before the Supreme Court and the contents of the case. Um, we, I'd like to thank the Honorable Abante who was earlier ready to move to approve the, or to allow uh, Ka Eric, but uh, I agree that I think uh, we will have to make clear the uh, position that they have taken legally before we can uh, move on with our decision as a committee. Mr. So Chair, can... further, 
Yes. Uh, upon hearing what Congressman Suarez has said, I think that uh, his letter and the actuations of uh, uh, the loved ones that filed uh, in Supreme Court is highly hypocritical. And uh, uh, we want to ferret the truth here, and we do not want anybody here that would uh, make a big fool out of us, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Honorable Abante. Uh, that is uh, very clear. So that being the case, the, um, the decision uh, whether to grant the request of the Honorable Eric for a um, uh, furlough is hereby uh, suspended until further clarification. And I would like to ask all members to, uh, at any given time, a special session or a, special can, a regular session can be, regular meeting can be called or a special session if this happens after Wednesday. Thank you very much. So, so therefore, the motion is approved. We now uh, proceed uh, for the 